My eyes feel funny. Ah! Oh, crap. Paul's gonna kill me. Everything alright, Clark? Yeah, Paul. I'm just gonna be late for school. I gotta go. Well, Martha, those kids should be back from school any second now. Here they come, Jonathan. Hope school was good, kids. Martha made some cookies inside. Why don't you head in? And Clark, can I speak to you, son? What is it, Pa? This age is a rough time for all young men your age. But when you're developing superpowers like you are, I imagine it's a lot harder. With these new powers still developing and you starting middle school, your ma and I want to stress how important it is you keep these abilities a secret, son. Aren't you always saying that my powers are a gift and I need to help others using them? Yes, Clark. You need to use those abilities you were gifted to help others. But until you learn to use them properly, you must keep them a secret to protect those you love and care about. Well, what am I supposed to do, Pa? It's not exactly my fault I have these powers. I was cursed. Clark, son, your powers are not a curse. It's up to you to decide whether they're a curse or a gift. Just know that your Ma and I will always love you, and we always support you, Clark. All right, people, calm down. This is an active fire scene. Move back. Chief says there's some poor kids stuck up on the third floor. Hello? Anyone in here? Oh, over here. You kids are brave. Now let's get you out of here. Oh, uh, sir, you can't park here. We need this for a fire hydrant. My bad. Actually, uh, what's a garbage truck doing out this late? Hey, stop running! You're under arrest! How'd you get here? <laughs> well, if it isn't the garbage man... Ma, I've been giving it some thought. I think it's time for me to come out of the shadows. If I'm ever going to save people, I need to be a symbol. A symbol of hope and justice. Well, if you're going to do that, you're going to need a better costume. I like this costume. Oh, please. You look like a reject from the Matrix movie. Well, that's just hurtful. Well, let me see. Well, how's it look? If Jonathan was still around, he'd be so proud. Lana? Pete? What are you guys doing here? I invited them. Mom, they don't know my secret. Relax, we already know. You do? We've known for years, Clark. Well, Clark, here's your cubicle. And welcome to the day of the planet. Thanks, Mr. White. Oh, please, call me Perry. Now, let's see, your partner should be around here somewhere. Lois, where are you? It's better be good. I'm elbow deep in a LexCorp expose. Lois Lane? Meet Clark Kent. Clark Kent, meet Lois Lane. Hi there, Lois. It's a pleasure to meet you. I've read a lot of your articles. I thought your recent article, Batman, Fact or Fiction, was great. Thank you. Well, looks like you two are hitting it off just fine, so I'll be on my way. Lombard, you seen that kid? Olsen something? He's supposed to be here with my coffee an hour ago. Nothing, Chief. Chief, it's Jimmy's day off. Oh, yeah. So, where are you from, Clark? Smallville, Kansas. All right, Smallville, follow me to your desk. You're right here next to me. Hello, Earthlings. It is I, General Zod. Until today, I thought I was the last survivor of the planet Krypton. But I recently found out that one of our own lives among you on the planet Earth. His name is Kal-El, and he's likely hiding among you, and you have no idea. I present two options, or else I destroy the Earth. 
Either Kalel turns himself over, or I will kill all of you before I find him. Our technology recognizes his Kryptonian DNA as in the city, Metropolis. I will be waiting in the city square, where kal has one hour to reveal himself. Heck of a first day, huh? Come on, we have to go downtown. I'm so sorry, Lois. I have to run to the bathroom real quick. Are you serious, Smallville? This is the story of a century. Zod? kal -El. Citizens of Metropolis, I ask you kindly to back away to a safe distance. What do you want with me, Zod? Your father, Jor-El, tried to destroy Krypton. Now I ask for your help to save it. Help me recreate Krypton here on Earth. Krypton had its chance, Zod. Then you will die with Krypton too. <clears throat> Clark, son, you're on a journey. And the toughest part of that journey is going to be deciding what kind of hero you're going to be. What's it going to be, kal -El? Will you join me, or does this woman need to die? Let her go, Zod. Be gone, you pathetic human. Of all the days to take off, of course Jimmy takes this one off. Really, Chief? kal -El, I will bring Krypton back, and nothing you do can stop me. You think you can stop me? I'm General Zod. Hmm. What's he thinking? Your precious planet will be mine. The garbage truck driver's gone, so nothing's stopping me from doing this. The Zod's down. Wait! What do we call you? Now what do we have here? Our little Superman. You can call me Superman. You're going away to the Phantom Zone, Zod. No, son of hell. You will kneel before Zod. How many stayed that way? 